So in terms of x part a, express the area of the outer rectangle. So that's this rectangle here. It gives us the dimensions of our length, x plus 3, and our width, x minus 1. So area, being length times width, would be x minus 1 times x plus 3. Using the distributive property, x times x is x squared. And then outside, x times positive 3 is positive 3x. Distributing the negative 1 through, you get negative 1x, and then minus 3. Combining our two like terms, we end up with x squared plus 2x minus 3. And don't forget that little small, big small we talked about to easily check that middle term. So little smile, negative 1 times x is negative 1x. Big smile, x times 3x is 3x, and combined, they do give us that 2x. Express the area of the inner rectangle. So that would be this rectangle here, whose dimensions are x by x minus 3. So multiplying x times x minus 3, we get x squared minus 3x. Express as a polynomial in simplest form the area of the shaded region. Well, to find the area of the shaded region, we take the area of the outer rectangle and subtract the area of the inner. So the polynomial uh, for the outer is x squared plus 2x minus 3, and the polynomial for the inner is x squared minus 3x. So we're going to subtract the binomial from the trinomial. Now, you need to show work here. It's especially important when you're distributing the negative through. So this is going to be negative x squared plus 3x. No sign out front here. If there's a positive 1, distribute the 1 through, you get the same thing back. So I'm going to write down the trinomial x squared plus 2x minus 3. Combining our like terms, uh, and looking to combine in standard form, so highest to lowest first, we have an x squared and a negative x squared, so those are going to cancel out. A positive 2x and a positive 3x equals 5x. And there's nothing to combine with a negative 3, so I simply just copy it down. So that's in, ter in simplest form in terms of uh, x, okay, as x is in our answer, the area of the shaded region.